singing of bravery on their way into battle. Kurdish Peshmerga fighters shoulder to shoulder, knowing dawn could bring them face to face with so-called Islamic State. And with first light, the Kurds began attacking IS positions here just nine miles from Mosul. The militants replied with tracer fire. Then this. A threat from above. An IS drone was over our heads. The Peshmerga tried frantically to shoot it down. A drone, apparently rigged with explosives, killed two Kurdish fighters recently. This one got away. Then there were two. One was brought to earth. But there was little time to celebrate. Suddenly, a warning. Get down, there's a sniper. As IS is pounded with heavy weapons, the Kurds listen in on their communications. Here they try to coordinate a counter-attack on the troops. Target them on the bridge, one commander says. Fire missiles from the petrol station. Then there's a plea for reinforcements. But IS couldn't muster any here, and the assault continued. Soon the extremists were losing ground. Well, we're entering an area that the Kurdish forces have just taken. They came in about half an hour or so. This village was an IS stronghold. Now, the further they go forward, the more resistance they expect to face from suicide bombers and from snipers. And we've heard some sniper fire just in the last few moments. We have to be very careful here. We have to stay on the asphalt. The troops believe that IS has spent months planting roadside bombs all around here. There will be many more hazards on the journey ahead. And Kurdish sources say IS is now regrouping in some areas. Orlegiran, BBC News, now ran north of Mosul.